Hello and welcome to 3ds Max 2014. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the boolean operations to make simple subtractions from objects. Um, what you're looking at here is a simple piece of Swiss cheese. Nothing super exciting. Um, but it's going to show you how to use this function pretty effectively. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by deleting this piece of Swiss cheese so we can go ahead and start from scratch. So first things first, I'm going to go to my top view just so I can start off from a simple base and I'm going to go to my shapes which you can see I'm hovering over now and I am going to create a triangle spline. For this I like to turn on my snaps which is this little three magnet up here on the toolbar and create a straight line. Of course it doesn't have to be perfect. I've never seen any perfect pieces of cheese. Then I'm going to go to my modify tab and I am going to hit extrude and I'm going to extrude this piece of cheese about 50 inches. It's going to be rather large for this project but I just want to show you big so you can get an idea of it. Again, you can adjust the parameters to whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize my viewports. And I'm going to start making spheres to remove from my block of cheese. So if I head back to my create tab, to my standard primitives, I'll start drawing out my spheres. This doesn't have to be anything perfect, but go ahead and hold down the shift key. Sorry. Go ahead and hold down the shift key and drag up on one of the axes if you want to make copies of the objects. You'll get a pop-up that says cloning options, copy instance or reference. I'll explain this in a later tutorial, so go ahead and just click copy. And you can do this for all of your spheres if you want, um, instead of just going back to your create tab and clicking a new sphere every time. Of course, you can go up to your select and scale button and you can resize the spheres however you want. Just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few spheres here until they look rather decent. As you're doing this, just keep in mind um, that once you start the boolean operations, you cannot go back and change the parameters of your shapes. You would have to change the size of them or the length, width, and height segments using um, your select and scale tool. But again, once you've applied the boolean functions, you can't go back and change those. So make sure everything is good and just the way you like it before you start those functions. Mm -hmm. Alright, so our cheese is looking pretty good here. I'm just going to go ahead and change the color so it's a little more cheese-like. Now what I like to do here is just round off the edges. This part is totally optional. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my object and convert it to an editable poly. This allows me to select different vertices and edges. Notice that once I select it, everything is active when it's highlighted in yellow. So I'm going to select each object of my cheese. Might have to just rotate your object a little bit so you can get all sides. And I'm going to go down to the chamfer option and what this does is it allows me to adjust the number of segments for me to just make a custom smoothed edge with my cheeses. So right now it's at 1. If I increase this, it's going to be more dramatic. Um, if I add more segments right here, 
it's going to give you more of a rounded surface rather than just kind of like a blunt chiseled edge. So we'll increase this to 5 and that looks pretty okay for this demonstration. So click the check mark and you're good to go. Deselect edge so that is not active anymore and we can start the boolean function. So I'm going to go back to my create tab and go down to compound objects which is in the drop down menu from where you usually create your boxes and spheres. So the compound objects is the third one down. And you see Boolean and ProBoolean. ProBoolean allows you to remove multiple objects from a surface or from a 3D object. Boolean only allows you to remove one. Um, Boolean was there with the old version of Max. But see, if I go to subtraction A from B, and I pick operand B. Here we go. Pick operand B with the Boolean. I'm going to click one and try and click the others, but it just toggles right back and forth. So I don't want to do Boolean, so I'm just going to undo that, go to Pro Boolean, and I'm going to start picking all of my spheres. And you'll notice that they all are removed from my cheese wedge without any problem. So go ahead and save this as your cheese project. Looks pretty nice. And I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment tab and I'll be sure to get to them. Thank you very much for watching.